Hello there, my name is Patty, and today I'll be watching First Kill Season 1, Episode 1. I can't believe I'm actually saying this. This new Netflix original starring Imani Lewis and Sarah Catherine Hook is based on a short story by Victoria Schwab and is about a vampire and a vampire hunter both trying to meet their family's expectations and traditions by committing their first kills, or I guess murders but they end up falling for each other instead. I've been super excited for this show to come out. I read the short story. I heard that they were turning it into a TV show. I was there when they announced the casting, when they said production had started, when they said production had wrapped. I was there for everything, and now it's finally here. It, I actually still quite can't believe it. Because my entire life, had been waiting for this moment. I'm so excited to watch it and I guess people who read the short story know that it ended right when things were getting good. So I'm guessing that maybe episode one is gonna be a little bit of the short story and then things are just, I don't know, there's so many possibilities. I spontaneously made a bingo card. Um, the points on there are not that great, but, and I, I probably forget that I have it, but we'll see if we can actually, you know, score a bingo on here. All right, that's enough. I'm really so excited to watch this show and I can't wait any longer, so let's go. We got a nice little intro sequence. Oh shit. Can't you just thank me and get over it? I love this. Tattoo it in my brain. Oh. Hello. Hello. This has to be a dream or something. Oh shit. That was a crazy one. Girl, you're already dreaming about her. Oh. Girl, get up. That's a nice room. Even on good days, I still feel like I don't fit in. I'm a weirdo. I don't fit in and I don't want to fit in. Have you ever seen me without this stupid hat on? Has it all figured out? Oh, look at me. <laughs> the clothes they wear. Twins. I actually got a haircut just so people wouldn't say I look like her. That's a nice house. Sneaking into the sister's room, yeah. As a younger sister myself, yeah, we do that sometimes. I'm fine. Of course I'm not fine. Is it coffee or blood or what are we drinking in this house? Water. Morning. Have you been out all night? If I'm home now, does it really matter? I, I really don't give a fuck. They, they're, it's giving old money, you know? And I, I'm guessing that's also true. That isn't your color. Ooh. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Do they need a dog? I can bark. Cough my name into his leather. They're so cute. I love them. I love them. No, we're getting flashbacks. Ah. Our own dirty puddle before we both figured out. Well, <laughs> we really want it. Oh, wow. High school engagement. U haul. Ooh. I feel like being around that many people just... It's too much. It's just too much. Ooh, I like the sound effect on this one. Why would I do that? I hate parties. But you love me and you have to go. I feel like I can cross Juliet's a loser off my bingo card. Because she is. I'm sorry. I mean that lovingly. I... <clears throat> Longing looks. Here we go. <laughs> you know, you could just talk to her. I have. <laughs> not a montage of her not talking to her. Girl, get up! Oh, she's so gone. I don't wanna talk. Oh, she's beyond saving. Oh, no, watch out! Oh, the blood pills. Sorry. Oh, Cal's gonna see them, and she's gonna connect the dots that she is a vampire. Oh. oh my God. Hi. Hi. Meet cute. Stop staring at her. Juliet, right? My name is. What happened to that? And and physics and gym. Oh Ben. Um, ben is so me. Your cow's good. Hi. <laughs> she says it like she's disgusted by it. I mean it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Thank you. Oh. Juliet, just go. Go somewhere else. Wait, wait. Dun, dun. A bee. You know what? Cal's like a trained vampire hunter or monster hunter. I think she can handle a bee. Oh, oh, oh. Tonight. Look her up and down. I, I saw that, Cal. I think she intentionally bumped into her. <laughs> the gay panic. I think she intentionally bumped into her to get the pills, maybe? I've always been sensitive. 
Is your cleanser doing enough for your sensitive skin? I'm fine. I'm getting us started. Wait, is Calliope like calming her down? Is she kind of like an anchor for Juliet? You hogs know that her stands, like, like, like she knows she's it. Yeah, she is the it girl. I know we're going to happen. Ooh, shit. Someone's awfully sure of herself. Is she gonna find the bracelet, like, in the story? Oh, Cal, you're good. Ooh. Yeah, she sure as hell was watching that. Where's pure silver? The vampire hunter does. Take control. Sensitive teeth? Gum problems? I love the show already. Juliet needs some help, but yeah. You're a monster. Oh, we love a product placement. You're going in that outfit? Juliet. Is that what you plan to wear? We see each other. We see each other. It's okay to be nervous, sweet little. Sweet little. Feels a little condescending, the way she like talks her. I don't know. Perfect, big, juicy, carotid artery. Oh. You are <laughs> she just keeps the IDs. Girl. <laughs> find someone. She kind of already did find someone. But why would you want to kill the person that you're like, like her? You exactly. Why would you kill someone you're interested in? You keep putting this off. It's only going to get worse. I, I really am interested to see the vampire lore in this. I feel represented because I cannot do anything like this. The bare minimum. I can do that. But other than that, I always need. I always have to ask my sister for help. Stay calm. Stay what? The height difference is actually ridiculous. How tiny is she? I'm supposed to be your wingwoman. Yeah, yeah, and it's time for you to learn how to fly. He has enough game. He doesn't need you. Longing looks. Oh, I already crossed it off. Oh, I saw that you checked her out. <laughs> I need to pause for a second because I have to say, obviously, I saw this scene already. It was a sneak peek that dropped. I've seen it. Um, I guess you can imagine what my first reaction was. <laughs> this is... The most anticipated scene for me because it is also kind of the biggest scene in the book or in the story so i'm excited how it actually ends because we never got to see that in the sneak peek so hi hi girl get it together sweetie oh first kiss here we go socially awkward me <laughs> and would like to do it again girl get up you gotta put yourself in into cal's shoes for this one like she's probably being taught that vampires are like vicious creatures and then she's standing right there with a vampire and that vampire is just a mess yeah the steak the way she's hiding the steak steak in your shorts you know the close-ups on the hands i find those very interesting good i don't know mind you this is their first time like being this close to each other and they immediately do that jesus christ oh shit it's happening it's happening guys what do you mean black screen oh we're probably gonna see cal's side of the story love that for us this is already such a subtle way to show like their differences this like modern house you know versus the old money house i see monsters that was before I learned the worst ones always look human. Oh shit. I learned that warding off monsters and evil. Oh, so this is like essentially a witch or something? Juliet's never gonna set a foot into this house. Cause she would literally instantly die. Her arms were cut off. Her legs were cut off. Her ears were cut off. Her tongue was cut off. But 25 years since the guild came through and cleaned up and now they're just back? Strange, right? Normal families go to the movies. We this. We go monster hunting. So I'm thinking. Ghouls. Yeah. Hey, whoa. Uh, I don't think so. You're on lookout duty. Lookout? Again? Oh, Lord. Again. A fucking game. Theo was 12 when he made his first kill on a sweep with my dad. Apollo? He was 14 when he got his shot. Me? I got my first chance last winter. And I failed. I'm sorry, I just wanted a frosty. Be prepared for anything. And always finish what you start. Oh, so they have a rule that aligns. Apollo, yours is on the move. Go left. And then there's a third one. Oh, damn, you are ugly. Shut up, you ugly. <laughs> Theo, there's a third. I'm coming in. <laughs> It's really their fault for giving her the shittiest weapon. 
my god, just steak me. Mm -mm. I better see some salad on there too. You're too smart a short of a salad. Mm -mm. You have a job, it's called school. <laughs> this is some bullshit. Hey, you really want me to lose my religion tonight, huh? Yes, ma'am. I mean, sir. I mean, boss. I mean, poobah. You get to talk about your favorite subject all day. You. <laughs> Mom, can I please tell him to go to hell? No. Yeah, sure, if you got somewhere else to live. Oh, I love their family dynamic. The bickering. You can tell me what are friends for? And exes? Come on, Cal. Who is she? So they're ex girlfriends. Interesting. I did it. I got my first kill. Oh shit, it's gonna make her feel bad again. But isn't tattooing your kills on your body kind of dumb because it, it's a dead giveaway? As soon as vampires realize that hunters are doing that, they'll be able to clock whoever is a hunter, right? I won't underestimate you. Oh shit, the buzz this gives me. <laughs> Pretend to be gentle. Then she dropped a bracelet. She knows what she's doing. She knows she has that girl wrapped around her finger. That's what's up. Oh, she must think vampires are such losers. <laughs> My dad says that most hunters just know a monster when they see one. You think that is a monster? Look at her. You just want to put her in your pocket. She's that tiny. That's not a monster. You're a monster. And I'm a hunter. <laughs> Stay calm. They have the same rules, essentially. Finish what you start. This heart ends. <laughs> All right, that was episode one called First Kiss. I cannot believe it's finally here. I'm so giddy, like I'm kicking my feet, giggling. It, I love it. I really like the idea of kind of cutting that episode in half and giving us first Juliet's perspective and then Cal's and then we kind of ended both at the same spot, which is now so exciting and kind of a little cliffhanger. So I can't wait to watch season uh, episode two. I really liked seeing both family dynamics and how different but also kind of the same they are both families have a bunch of kids one has three kids which already makes it a different dynamic i come from a family with three kids and i'm the youngest so i can relate a lot to calliope because you have this you know this urge to kind of be as great as your siblings or even better than them <laughs> and even if you don't want to there is some kind of competitiveness you always have between siblings and then you have Juliet with her sister, which is essentially, in a way, kind of the same. She looks up to her sister a lot. She wants to be like her sister. Her sister is her role model. Can relate to that as well. Um, also, you know, being in that position where you think you're not as good as your siblings or your siblings have their life together and you're a mess. Like, this is me. <laughs> I'm both of them in their situations. Dividing this episode into both of their perspectives was a great idea. I think it's a great approach to kind of do the world building for us, and we don't have to wait a whole episode to see Cal's side of the story or Juliet's side. We got them both, and now we're at a point where their stories just clash and intertwine, and it's gonna be exciting to see how they keep going with this. I really want to like this show because I've been so excited for it, but I don't even have to pretend to like it. I really loved it so far. I think it was a good first episode and I can't wait to see what happens after and that's all I have to say I think you know when I call Juliet a loser I just mean it in a loving way she is really just that far gone like I said I think it's funny Calliope like learning all these horror stories about vampires probably and then she meets one and it's like the most normal average girl that has a gay panic whenever their eyes meet across the room and I think it's very funny and um, you can already tell that she kind of has a soft spot for Jules. And then on the other hand, you know, Juliet doesn't have one soft spot. Like, there is just... she would do anything for a cow. So, um, I love it. I can't wait to see um, what they're gonna do. I did cross off uh, a few things on my bingo card. And um, I feel like we're gonna get a bingo soon. All right, thank you so much for watching and hopefully enjoying this video. I hope I could tickle some smiles out of you today. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.